The pre-existing duty rule says that promises made to induce performance of a pre-existing legal duty aren't normally enforceable. But does that prohibition still apply if a third party makes the promise to induce performance? Famous New York judge Benjamin Cardozo gave the matter due consideration in De Chico v. Schweitzer. Blanche Schweitzer, the daughter of Joseph and Ernestine Schweitzer, was engaged to marry Count Oberto Giacomo Giovanni Francesco Maria Giulinelli. Four days before the wedding, Joseph and Ernestine executed a contract with Giulinelli. The contract provided that in consideration of Blanche's engagement to Giulinelli, Joseph and Ernestine agreed to pay Blanche $2,500 a year for the rest of Blanche's life, starting on their wedding day. Further, Joseph and Ernestine promised that Blanche would one day inherit her share of the Schweitzer estate. Blanche and Giulinelli married in January 1902. Joseph Schweitzer made the annual payments until 1912, when he failed to make the payment. Blanche and Giulinelli had assigned their interest in the payments to Attilio De Chico. De Chico sued the Schweitzers for breach of contract in a New York state court. The Schweitzers argued that Giulinelli and Blanche were already engaged when the contract was signed, so the actual marriage constituted the fulfillment of an existing legal duty. Therefore, Joseph reasoned, the contract lacked consideration. The trial court rejected Joseph's argument and awarded judgment to De Chico. The appellate division affirmed, and Schweitzer appealed to the New York Court of Appeals.